What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and it's time for some more Pokemon Blaze Black. We're here in Nocreen City, and it's just about time to go in and fight Gym Leader number two. But uh, we got one thing to do first. I'm going to show off the Pokemon in the party once again here. Again, if you're that interested in reading about the stats and the abilities and checking the move sets, then go ahead and pause the video. Whatever Pokemon you like, just trying to leave enough time there for you to do so. So I decided that uh, I want to show more than just the eight gym battles in the first half. There were a couple comments made saying, you know, you should show the end battles too because they can get pretty nasty. And then, you know, it occurred to me that I should also show the final boss and it might not be bad to even show the fights with the rivals. So, oh, what's going on? Yep, it's Anne interrupting us before we go into the second gym like usual. So uh, I decided to show all the fights from this point forward, so from the first gym onward. Uh, which means that I'm not showing the first end fight, uh, where you come out from the Pokemon Center in the first or the second town, and there's that nonsense going on in the plaza. And I'm not showing the first two fights with Bianca and Sharon, because well, the first one's in your house, and the second one you still have like level seven or eight Pokemon, which is not very exciting. So we'll just go from here. Cause this is where it really starts to get more interesting. And so N leads off with two Steel types. I didn't know it at the time, but uh, Bronzor is a Steel Psychic hybrid, but just from the name, I guessed that it was a Steel type, and I, I knew the typing on Drill Burr, so I knew what I was going for there. So I was a little bit surprised when my Karate Chop didn't do super effective damage to Bronzor. I, I figured it must have had something that it was, was resistant to uh, paired up with it, but I wasn't sure what. I figured it might have been flying and steel or something, because it was seemed like it had some sort of levitating going on, but turns out it's Psychic and Steel, like I said. And so this is a funny scene. Uh, Drillbur's dug under the ground, and uh, Gyarados is up in the air. Now, you might be curious, uh, just for general reference in this series, you can tell which Pokémon are going to be in my final six, because they're all going to have nicknames, and the rest of them are just going to be named their species name. So that's how you can tell whether or not I'm going to hang on to them through the Elite Four and after. So uh, Daedalus is the name of my Gyarados. And you may have noticed I also have a Gibble named Nakrak. And there, I got lucky enough, actually, they are both adamant. It took me a while to find an adamant Gibble, but I got uh, Daedalus on the third try. So, pretty friggin' great. Adamant is the best nature for uh, physical attackers like Gyarados and Nakrak. Because basically, uh, the, the, that nature lowers your special attack and raises your physical attack. So, it's perfect. So this, this battle is not too difficult, really. There's not a whole lot of, of nonsense going on here. He's just switching his Pokémon out. I was actually a little bit surprised that the AI for this hack must be a little bit better than it typically is, because he switched out Bronzor when he, he realized he was going to lose it on the next turn, and instead he put in Timbolt. So, I'm trying to play a little bit smart, I guess. And I ended up having to use a Super Potion on Duat just to keep it in the match, because I didn't want to have to change it out. But as soon as that Bronzor comes back in, you know, he's going down with a bite from Daedalus. Good stuff right there. And I finally get the chance to get that super effective damage on uh, Drill Burr. I'm not sure... I don't, I don't understand why it didn't do double. Does fighting do half to ground? Because it does double to steal, so I'm not... I'm not sure what happened there. I expect that to be a super effective hit, but whatever. It took it out one shot anyway, because we got the critical. As you, as you know, probably the, the attack karate chop has an increased critical hit ratio, so you're more likely to get one. And then he makes the mistake of sending out a fire type against two water types, since that's the only two Pokemon he has left. Now it's interesting, the Vulpix in this hack can actually have the ability Drought, which automatically makes the weather sunny whenever the Pokemon is brought into battle. Which is a pretty awesome ability for a fire type, because it means that not only are they getting stab on their fire type moves, but they're also getting that weather bonus, which I believe is a 50% damage increase. So it's pretty awesome for that Voltex. But against two water types, it's not going to help it much. Almost time. Daedalus uses bounce, and I missed! I missed bounce twice in this battle! And it's got 85% accuracy. And then I missed twice in a row. It's just like, what? It's crazy, man. But N's only got his Zoro on left, so not a whole lot of fight left in his team now. Yeah, he's not too dangerous at this point, but I think by the third or fourth, which will be the next or the one after that, battle with him, he gets to be his party gets to be pretty nasty, so 
look forward to some more involved battles with him in the future. But first, he's just going to give us a little rant about the gym, and that's it for this episode. So the next fight is going to be with gym leader Lenora inside Not Green Gym, just in there. Gym fight number two. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next battle.